there are shows that you just know. I'm just telling you, you've, you, if you've watched my show before, you've heard me say this before. There are some shows that you just know are going to be memorable, over the top, incredible, whatever words you want to use. This is one of them. Uh, we're going to kick off here in just a couple minutes, but I do want to share this with you guys to uh, set, pump the uh, pump the old, uh, I can't think of the right words right now, but that's all right. Let's go. We had this Facebook Live-a-thon this weekend. And before the live-a-thon, before we did it, I talked to a lady named Lacey and her husband, Daniel. And before the live-a-thon, these two had almost, not quite, but they had almost lost hope. You see, Lacey and Daniel own an organization called Rescue One Global, where they are battling sex trafficking, human sex trafficking, all around the world. And they're battling an industry, we're talking about a $150 billion industry. Basically think of it this way, the, the human sex trafficking industry is larger than the NFL. $150 billion a year industry and you've got this small organization, Rescue One Global and these incredible human beings who feel compelled to go out there and save lives one at a time, to pull one girl, one victim out of the industry. And they had almost lost hope. They had run short on funds. They knew that there was a grant that they could potentially get, but they had to raise $100,000 by October 1st in order to receive the grant. In order to receive the grant, they had to raise $100,000 by October 1st, and they had never done anything like that. They had never done any, any real fundraising. They hadn't made that kind of money, and Lacey told me that they had pretty much, not quite, but their morale was low. The morale was low on their team. It was a small team of people up against the big, bad, evil giant that is human sex trafficking. And she laid her head down. She prayed and she wept because she believed that there was no way, there was absolutely no way it was going to happen. And then she says that in that moment where she felt like all hope was lost, her team had lost morale, she thought maybe their mission was over. She says in that moment, she received a phone call. She received a phone call and it was me informing her that we were getting ready to do this Facebook Live-a-thon and that we were going to do everything in our power, that we were going to pull together leaders and champions and, and our group and we were going to pull people together from all around the world in a very unique and special way. And I told her that, Lacey, Daniel, we are going to raise $100,000 for you in 24 hours. And she had hope. And she lit up. And before the Facebook Live-a-thon, she messaged me that she wasn't able to sleep. She wasn't able to sleep at all because she had, she was finally hopeful that maybe, just maybe, this would be the thing that would change the course of history for her organization. And then we all converged this weekend, you, me, all of our friends, our family members, we converged this weekend and the posts went up and we had the Facebook Live-a-thon and we started picking up steam and everybody was hitting the share button and everybody was commenting and all the hosts were including talent and music and entertaining and sharing their stories and sharing the, the information and bringing a recognition, putting eyeballs on this place called Rescue One Global, this small organization that no one had necessarily heard about. I shouldn't say no one, but not we, most of us, had never heard about more than a month ago. We had never heard about this industry of 40 million people that are currently enslaved. We had never heard about this industry that is doing $150 billion a year. And so after the Facebook live a after the Facebook live a where we raised $100,000 in 24 hours, ultimately giving $400,000 to this incredible organization, I talked to Lacey. I talked to Lacey and Daniel, and she told me that on Sunday, after it was all said and done, she couldn't get her staff to meet. She said that she couldn't get her staff to leave. They were sitting around, 
in a circle and they were talking about all of the things that they were going to be able to do. They were talking about the women, or the, I keep saying women, there's, there's men also, but they were talking about the victims they were going to be able to save, the houses they were going to be able to build, the missions they were going to be able to go on, the lives that were going to be changed. And as they sat around talking and having these visions and these dreams of all the things that they could now do, finally Lacey had to tell them, guys, I love you and I'm excited with you, but I'm tired and we haven't slept and I need to go home but her team had hope they were so motivated to do all the things that they could do you see hope is the most powerful motivator in the universe understand that hope is the most powerful motivator in the universe Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Grind. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to seven, and the creator of what is going to be the number one most watched morning show in the world. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? Dude, today is Friday. That's right, today is Friday, October 9th. 2020 and what's crazy is today is the very first and the very last time it'll ever be Friday October 9 2020 so I want to make sure we make the absolute most and I do mean the absolute most of this absolutely incredible day welcome to hashtag rise and grind my name is Glenn Lundy I am your host I am also the creator and the founder of the Hashtag Rise and Grind group on Facebook. If you're not a part of this group, you got to be. It's the only place online where I can guarantee you motivation, education, and inspiration. 100% of the time, nothing else will ever be in there. It is a safe place place. So you need to come join us. Go to uh, riseandgrindgroup.com and you can come join us if you're not already a part of this amazing thing called hashtag rise and grind. Dude, today is an exciting day for me for multiple reasons. If you just saw the video um, that we just showed on there, so Rescue One Global, you guys came together in a Facebook live-a-thon. You, Rise and Grind members, all y'all came together and raised over a hundred thousand dollars in 20 four hours that ultimately the government backed up with another three hundred thousand dollars so you guys raised four hundred over four hundred thousand dollars to battle human sex trafficking for an organization called rescue one global and they reached out to me recently and they said that they want to give you an award for for being the number one donor for their organization last year and for the massive impact that you've made in the industry. And so tonight I get to go down to the Freedom Gala in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm going to receive that award on your behalf, which is absolutely amazing. I am so thankful. And so you know, you can watch live on a stream there's a live stream for this that you can watch for free if you're interested just shoot me a message i'll send you the link the link's like long it's not like an easy link that i could just be like 123.com um, so if you're interested and you want to be a part of that live stream tonight just shoot me a message uh, when we're done here shoot me a message right now and i'll get you that link you can watch it for free but dude incredible amazing so i'm super excited about that i'm also excited because there's this guy named trevor houston that's going to be on our show today he's hanging out in the green room right now i think i see him chatting with you guys a little bit in the uh feed also so trevor is going to be here with us today and he's just an amazing human all the way around listen this week we have been talking about mental health it is mental health week across the united states of america and so we've been talking about it right man there's this stigma around mental health like we can't talk about it it's not real it's all in your head like all these different things and so we've been talking about it going through some of the different disorders and also some of the solutions on how we can help balance battle mental health. Of course, the number one solution we talked about on Monday is hope, right? Hope can cure 
cure many an ailment. And a loss of hope is what leads to a lot of the depressions and the anxieties and the fears that we allow into our minds. We also talked about how important it is to protect yourself when you're at the house, man. Sometimes you just kind of let your guard down. You're eating your chips. You're watching your TV. You're not focused on what's going into your mind. And it can put you into a, a mental state of depression, of slowdown, all those different things. So we talked about while you're at home, make sure you're getting lots of sunshine. Don't lock yourself in the house. Dance and have fun and listen to music that makes you feel good. Do some gardening, some planting, something like that so you can feel accomplished and like you're growing. Keep the place clean and not cluttered. Super, super important. And remove anything that gives you negative feelings while you're in the house. Just remove that stuff. Replace it with something positive. We've also talked this week about how important it is to have a powerful morning routine Super, super important, right? Things like not hitting the snooze button, don't touch your phone first thing in the morning, spend some time quietly writing down your gratitude and your goals. All of those things are super important. Taking care of yourself physically because an object in motion tends to stay in motion. And then, of course, we've talked about sending out an encouraging message, man, lifting somebody up, releasing that positive energy out into the world. We also this week talked about the spiritual side of mental health and how important it is that you get up in your Bible, bro. Get up in your Bible. Get around spiritual people. That can help you in a season that we're going through, which can be a little bit tough and a little bit rough for a lot of people. So we've been talking about mental health all week, and we're going to continue to do so with my man, Trevor Houston. You see, Trevor works with unemployed people all around, all around, the, all around, you know, the United States. I'm assuming probably the globe. He's got an incredible reach. Right. And so Trevor has created an environment and space for these people to come together and lift each other up and encourage each other and support each other and network together and help each other fight job, find jobs and so on and so forth. He's just this passionate guy. And so he understands and, and works with people that are dealing with a lot of these mental mental health issues, you know, every single day. So I'm super excited to have him um, on here again. If you need that link, go ahead and jo or go ahead. If you need the link for tonight, go ahead and bring it in and uh, let's get today rolling. So I want to bring Trevor in here before I do, there's something we do on every single episode of hashtag rise and grind, right? We got to get a little music going. That's right. We got to get the body moving a little bit. We like to dance on this show, man. There's just something about dancing. First thing in the morning. Are you kidding me? Who does that? Who's dancing at 5.30 a.m.? We are. You are. Me. And maybe, I don't know, if I peek into the back. Yeah, this guy is too. That's right. Trevor's doing some dancing this morning already. Look. Yes. Hashtag rise and cry. And for my boy Trevor, dude, it's 3.30 where he's at. And he's out there dancing this morning. So listen, for those of you that know, those of you that don't know, this is the part of the show where I need you to hit that share button. That's right. I need you to hit that share button. Because I believe if we can change the way people start their day, it'll make a massive impact on this planet. I truly believe that. And sometimes all it takes to change the way somebody starts their day is for you to hit that share button. This is also the part of the show where I want to say good morning to you and I want you to say good morning to me. Whether you're watching live or you're watching on replay, say what's up. I'll go back in. I'll say what's up to you as well. Good morning, Brad Smith. Great to see you this morning. Look at Trevor, dude, getting it. He's got his coffee cup, feeling good. What's up, Michelle? How are you? We got Pam Woosley's up in here. Kim Fair, Jeremy Noling, Rick Tamborino is in the house. Kim Wilson's up in here this morning. Terry Collins, great to see you. <laughs> Happy, happy, happy. Sarah Ball is up in the house. Whitney Wells, Robin Wilshans. We've got, uh, who else is up in here? Suzanne Wall. You guys are typing so fast, I can't see it. We've got uh, Rick Tamborino is up in here. Golly, I really can't see this. You guys are typing too fast. Marilyn Wilkin, Archie K is up in here. Mike Higgins, Jenny Lockett. We got Kimberly Garner, Christine Baer, Don Sankey. We got Tina Kelly Overfelt. There's up uh, Trevor Houston. He's in two places. This guy's everywhere. Robert Downey. Good morning from California. What's up, Robert Downey in California? Great to see you, dude. It's 2.30 in the morning out there. What's up, Jess Gentry? How you doing, Janet Dyer? Rodney Rock Hatfield, Michael Guthrie, Tabitha Wells. Golly, dude, it's packed up in here on Hashtag Rising Grind this morning. It's 
packed up in here. I love it. Do me a favor. If there's somebody you know should be in here that ain't in here already, I'm going to need, need you to tag them. Just go ahead and tag them below. Also, I want to know how you're feeling this morning. Are you feeling like a, are you feeling like a like? Are you feeling like a love? Are you feeling kind of happy? Which one it is? Hit those little emoticons. You know those little smiley faces you got down there on the bottom? <laughs> Hit those little emoticons. I can feel your energy. When you share with me how you're feeling this morning, I can feel your energy, all right? So drop the hearts, drop the likes, do all of those things. We're going to dive in today on hashtag rise and grind. that people need some work on selling themselves because it's always easier to sell someone else than it yes. is yourself. We sell all the time, guys. Every day is sales. Every single day. You gotta convince your wife to marry you. You're always <laughs> selling. It's a matter of being able to reverse engineer it and sell yourself in a way that doesn't sound cocky, self-serving, or anything like Definitely that. Definitely confident. Confident is good. Cocky confident. is not. Nobody right. wanna deal with cocky. We all know that there's some people out there that are a little too much. So I want to talk about this real quick, Trevor. Hey, what's up, man? How are you, my man? Man, so blessed. <laughs> Thanks for being here, dude. So let's talk about this video clip I just saw real quick. So so, so confident. Do a lot of people have a hard time selling themselves? Do you find that? Oh, yeah, man, 100%. Um, like I said in the video, it's a lot easier to sell someone else than it is to sell yourself. And uh, what I'm finding is a lot of people are – getting let go from corporate America, you know, they've got these um, corporate jobs and they get let go. They find themselves in the job search where they need to sell themselves. Mm -hmm. They need to be confident. They need to be, you know, confident in their own abilities and skills and gifts and talents that they've been given. And they just aren't, you know, and um, yeah. it, it shows off in the, in the interviews and uh, especially if their job search is taking a little while, yeah. Um, the longer it takes, they start to really get down on themselves and they start to feel hopeless. Like you were talking about earlier, hope is something that everybody needs and they start to feel hopeless and worthless. And it's really um, my mission is to help lift these people back up and get them back to where they're supposed to be. Um, so I, that's what I loved about what I do. I love that, man. I love that you get to not only help give them the skills that they need to like get back in the game to get back in the fight but you're also creating community for them so you can increase that hope so that you can bring people together lift them up encourage them and you do some really special stuff i'm super glad you and i connected uh you know the universe does its thing right the universe yeah. is like and it spins yep. and it just pow pow and you and i connected and it was like i don't know are we best friends it was like one of those moments you know right out the gate yeah. we're just very much aligned you're on a little different side of the country but we both have a passion um and it built similar hey, you know what it is glenn you What's know what it? it is man What's we're it? both from the auto industry so that, that's what it is man that's what it is it's that auto industry connection the only difference <laughs> is you is. actually got out you you, you I, yeah out. i escaped <laughs> You did. You did. Well, cool, man. Well, I'm so glad uh, you're here and that you're out there serving people like that. And as we talk about mental health this week, I wanted to, I know that you work with a lot of people that are dealing with, you know, obviously a lot, a lot of different things. I mean, there are currently uh, 11 million plus unemployed people in the United States of America right now. A lot of them never in a million years thought they'd be in the unemployment game, right? Like, like you said, there's a lot of corporate people, a lot of layoffs, um, a lot of different things going on. That number is better. It was like 20 million or something like that just a couple yeah. months ago, right? So it is getting uh, a, a, a lot better. But how has people's mental health 
been overall affected? Like the people that you're talking to, that you're working with, when it comes to that mental health, how has this season been detrimental? Uh, and how do you how do you keep them pushing and going through and not just giving up? Yeah, I love that question. So, you know, when they first come to me, uh, they're a little bit broken. OK, uh, that's usually the state of mind that we find them in. Uh, they're broken. They feel hopeless, worthless. Um, and, you know, like you were talking about with the pandemic, uh, a lot of people weren't expecting this. Right. And it just came out of nowhere. They maybe had that high level executive role at a company and, you know, maybe spent even 15, 20, 25 years at a company. They wrapped their identity within a logo. Right. Mm -hmm. Imagine spending 20 years at a certain company and then getting let go. And you're like, oh, my gosh, like, who am I? Mm -hmm. Right. Who 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 is Trevor Houston? I, I want people to understand you are so much more than a logo. Right. You're yeah. so much more valuable than than a logo, especially someone else's logo. Right. Yeah. Um, and you're more valuable than the words on your resume. Like you're never going to be able to put Trevor Houston or Glenn Lundy on two pieces of paper. Like you can't put our value on two pieces of paper. It'll never happen, right? right? And so these people go stir crazy, redoing their resume over and over and over and over and getting zero results. And so they, again, they, they take that internally as, as rejection, as they're not good enough. And it's not them, it's the system. It's the way that we have to apply today, the ATS, what we call the black hole, right? You apply online and your resume just goes into cyberspace. Right. And, and no one calls you. So it's a problem. The system is broken. And so what I, the first thing that I get people to do is just understand that. That mm -hmm. is okay. Yeah. Understand the system and the way that we apply for a job today is broken. Right. 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 And nobody's getting a phone call. Right. 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 <laughs> like, right. You, you've got to just be like lucky, right, is really what it comes down to. Yeah. And then and then now what we need to do is focus on connections, focus on relationships, focus on networking, focus on people, because it's the people. And I, I uh, read an article just the other day uh, by CNBC that 80 percent of the jobs are not published online. Mm. OK. 80% are not published online and 70% of those that actually get landed are through personal introductions and connections. Yeah. It's all about who, you know, mm. 70%. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Isn't that incredible? That is incredible, man. 80% of them aren't even listed. Seventy percent is because of who you know. Mm. It's yep. all about That's relationships. Great. So speaking of who, you know, so you have the, who you know show, right? That's Which right. You do the who you know show. Uh, real quick before you and I go down the lanes, I know we're going to end up traveling down the uh, who you know show. If my incredible audience here, there's a bunch of people watching here on uh, on Facebook this morning. And just so you guys know, it is not easy. Oh, I pointed the wrong way. It is not easy, <laughs> right? For somebody like Trevor to get up at, uh, you know, it's 4.50 a.m. his time now. He's already been showered. The family's like, what are you doing? Go back to bed, dude. Right? Like, and it's a lot for people to pop in here and be like, yeah, the kid, I love that shirt. Dude. Love that. You love that? That's what's up, man. Is that the camo? <laughs> That's it, man. I love it. I love the shirt. Hey, man, I'm going to tell everybody. Dude, we didn't even, quick, we didn't even release. We didn't even release the camo yet. Look, look, I don't mean to cut everybody off or cut you off, Glenn, but I, I want to give some shout outs real quick. So everybody knows if you don't have one of these shirts, th this is this shirt is off the hook. So we got Stu Young. We got Archie. What's going on? We got Christine. How are you, Mary? Uh, good to see you. Y'all need to go get you one of these shirts. This thing is off the hook and it came with this custom tag. Can I read this tag real quick, Glenn? You can read the tag. Yes, sir. Man. So. I, I love this. This made the shirt. All right? I told Glenn that the tag made the shirt. So it says, you are loved. You are uniquely made in God's image. Your positivity is contagious to all those around you. You are a member of an elite group of people who chose to rise and grind. This made the shirt, man. I got to tell you, I, I, I thank you for that. I appreciate it. Thanks, dude. I'm glad that you... 
Um, enjoy that. Sarah Ball just said she keeps the tags too. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, that's awesome. But yeah, that, 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 thank you, dude. That's, it's really humbling. Uh, I love seeing those shirts. I love seeing people wearing those shirts. I know it spreads, um, you know, joy. You can't look at that shirt and not smile. But what I don't know and understand is how, first of all, you just took over my show. And second of all, <laughs> how do you have a shirt that I don't even have, dude? Like, I don't have that. That No one can buy that shirt. Literally, that shirt does not exist yet. And you got it, dude. That's the camo cross. Oh, my goodness, dude. You, That's what's up. I guess it's who you know. <laughs> I That's guess right. it's That's all right. about who you know, right? You got to know the right person to get something like that, dude. Speaking of some of the uh, the products and the things that we do here in in in, in our group, we have uh, the hashtag Rise and Grind Planner. Okay, the hashtag Rise and Grind Planner. Uh, we've got every year we come out with a new planner, and at the top of every page, there's a quote that is submitted by Rise and Grind group members. We collect those quotes, we put them in the planner. My wife's working on 2021's planner right now, uh, which will come out on Black Friday. And so what I want to do with you is I want to do something I've never done with anybody else, Trevor. Oh, but I figure we'll try something new with you. So I'm going to read you the quotes that were submitted this past week, all right? The last okay. five, the last five days, the quotes that were submitted. I'm just going to read them to you, and you have to – you, you. I want you to respond quickly, 30 seconds or less, to how each quote – what each quote – like where it takes your mind, how it – what it says to you, what it means to you, that all type right. of thing. But we got to do it in 30 seconds or less. We're gonna all right. It's like rapid minutes. fire. Let's go. Yeah, rapid fire. All right? You ready? All right. All right, the first one was submitted by Stacy Dye. Stacy Dye is part of our Rising Ground group. And Stacy Dye says, starve your distractions and feed your focus. Go. Oh, I love that. Get rid of your uh, your cell phone <laughs> and uh, focus on the word, you know, get that get that book out early in the morning. So yeah, get get rid of the distractions, get rid of the news. Mm, I love it. Get rid of the news. Love it. Number one, second one right here. This is by Pam Biddle, okay? Pam Biddle has been part of the Rise and Grind group for a long time. She's just an amazing superhuman, all right? So Pam says, this is, a, I believe this is probably a Bible verse, but she says, or she submitted, peace is not the absence of trouble, but the presence of Christ. Oh, yeah. Well, as soon as you said the word peace, P uh, peace, I, uh, you know, immediately thought of the Prince of Peace, right? Um, so it's exactly what she said, Christ, you know, and, and I tell people this all the time that right now we need the Prince of Peace um, probably more than ever. I don't know about, you know, there's probably been some times, um, you know, that have been pretty troubling, but we're in some, we're in some dark waters and uh, we need the Prince of Peace right now. Um, there's a lot of things going on. So get that book out. Amen to that, dude. I'm 100% behind that. A million percent behind that. I told I told you I told him yesterday, dude. Religious, not religious, spiritual, not spiritual, success leaves clues. And the most successful human in the history of all time is Jesus. The guy has sold more books than anybody. <laughs> all right. Yeah. He has sold more books than anybody. You can't argue with me on that. And his story and his message still rings true two thousand twenty years after his death across the world. So success leaves clues. If you're a student of success, you got to study Jesus. The best self-development book that exists on the planet is the Bible. Get into the Bible, religious or not, get into the Bible if you want to grow as a human. Just, 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 there's the scientific reason that you need to read your Bible in case you don't have a spiritual one. All right, here 100%. we go. All right, Anna Larissa Wells Buchanan. That's a heck of a name. Anna Larissa Wells Buchanan says, I don't have to do it. I get to do it. Oh, oh, I love that. That's passion, baby. That is that passion. That's that drive. That's that motivation. Um, and, and being thankful for your, you know, the blessing in your gifts and, and what you get to do. I love that mindset. I get to. You know, I don't have to. I get to. I love that. That's awesome. It's beautiful, right? People are always like, Glenn, you have to get up so early nah. to do. I'm like, nah, dude, I get to. You mm -hmm. kidding me? I get to get up 
and hang out with hundreds, if not thousands of people at 5.30 in the morning. And I get to hang out with cool people like Trevor Houston, my man over there, kicking it this morning. All right, how are you, how are you doing with these? You doing all right? These oh, good? I love it. Okay, it's good. Right. We, got two, we got two more. Who you know? <laughs> Here, hold on. Put it closer so they can take a screenshot. Woo! Yeah, that's right, baby. Hashtag who you know. Y'all need to go check it out. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do. I want you to screenshot that right there, and then oh. I want you to – oh, yeah, we'll do it again. Screenshot oh. that right there. Yeah, with the big smile. And then I want you to send that over to Trevor, all right? I want you to message him all day today. I'm asking my Rising Grind members, do me a favor. Best thing that we can do to honor our guests for being on here this early, doing all of those things, number one way is hit the share button so we can expose them to as many humans as possible. Number two way is for you to blow them up all day today. I want you to blow Trevor up. Be like, dude, Trevor, you're awesome. Dude, Trevor, I want to connect. Dude, I'm from Rise and Grind. Like, I want him to call me and go, bro, my phone battery is dead. And I, I like, he's going to have to call me from a pay phone that he's going to have to find somewhere because you guys are just blowing his phone up so much. So do that for me today. Hit me up, hit me up on LinkedIn. If you're there, if you're on LinkedIn, I want you to come over to LinkedIn land and come hit me up. Beautiful. LinkedIn is the best place to reach him. He's got a massive amount of content, uh, very valuable stuff over there on LinkedIn. So make sure you blow him up today. All right. Blow him up. Actually, what time is it? It's 5.58. Hey, I understand morning routines are super important. If you've got to get out of here, go ahead and get out of here. I get it. I totally do, but for the, you know, you, you're going to miss out, but if you want to get out of here, you got to get out of here. I get it. Uh, a couple last things real quick. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go grab uh, one of your uh, breast cancer awareness t-shirts. We've got these raglans right here, the rides together. We also have these t-shirts here. You can go get them at riseandgrindgear.com or riseandgrindoffline.com. 100% of the proceeds are going to Bobby Nihas and her amazing organization, My Pink Navigator. Also, you can drop stars right there in your comments. 100% of those star dollars are going to Bobby Nihas and My Pink Navigator. What we did with Rescue One Global, where we raised over a hundred thousand dollars in 24 hours has completely transformed and changed how they do ministry i think we can do the same thing for bobby and we don't even have to raise that much i think we can help bobby get nationwide so make sure you're supporting make sure you're grabbing a shirt make sure you're dropping some stars and if you have to get out of here make sure that you go to glennlundy.com throughout the weekend if you need more videos like this more motivation education inspiration so on and so forth all right enough with that stuff back to my man trevor you ready let's do it all right <laughs> kirsten stock this is all she says Kirsten Stock, tell me, tell me what happens in your brain when you hear this. All right. She says, be the best you that you can be. You know, what instantly popped into my mind was my pastor, uh, Pastor Joel Scrivener. Y'all need to go check out Pastor Joel Scrivener of Oaks Church. Um, he has this book called Winology, okay? Mm. And it's the science of winning. He's actually a four-time world Taekwondo champion. Okay? okay. All right. And this guy kicks butt for Jesus, man. I want to okay. tell you that right I'm now. Done with that. <laughs> and, and he's got he wrote this book about the science behind winning, right? Just winning in life, relationships, and in, in, in business and everything. And uh, you know, what he did is he just translated the Bible right? Into business language yeah. and wrote this book called Winology and he calls it his Trojan horse. I love it because he gets yeah, to take this and gets, gets to go train businesses that normally wouldn't let him in as a pastor, right? but they let him right. in as a, as a business coach with mm. this book and, uh, in this system. So y'all need to check out Winology, check out Joel Scrivener. He's going to teach you how to be the best version of yourself. Dude, I love that. Thanks for offering us a resource. I really want to check that out. Uh, John Maxwell had that same theory, right? Maxwell was teaching biblical principles in corporations all around the world. And I remember Maxwell saying like the CEOs would come up and be like, where did you like, where did you learn that? Where did you yeah. get that? And he'd be like, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you because if I tell you where I got it from, you might kick me out of the building. So I'm yeah. not even going to tell you, but it was all biblical strategies translated into business, man. That yeah. book has all the answers, bro. The book has all the answers. It's crazy. All right. Last one. 
and this one hit me powerfully this morning as I was doing my gratitude and goals. This was submitted by Brandy Moo Mao. M-O-O-M-A-U. I'm saying that right, right? Moo Mao. It's got to be Moo Mao. <laughs> Man, you know I can't I can't say people's names. I'm bad at it, so. <laughs> I'm like the worst show host ever. <laughs> Brandy Moo Mao. She says, let the one who created you be the one who defines you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it goes back to, you know, it goes back to the book, you know, the one who created you be the one who defines you. Um, yeah, that's a powerful statement. Mm-hmm. I think it's uh, it's about reflection in who you are in Christ. What is your mission? What what have you been given? What, what are you here to do? I, you know, we're all here to to make disciples. Right. But how does that look for you? What does that look like for you? And I love Glenn, what you're doing here with this show. I love that you're not apologetic about it because you are making disciples, right? And and that's what you're supposed to do. And we do the same thing on our show. Um, we've had people, you know, not like the fact that we are, um, we, it's a faith-based show. Sure. And, um, I, you know, I'm not apologetic about it either. I'm like, listen, I mean, we, any, any faith can watch our show. We, we don't push people away. Right. I don't want to push people away. I want to bring them in with the light. But um, I'm not apologetic about it. And I love the fact that you're not either. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's, that's kind of what came to mind. That's awesome, man. Yeah, dude, today, and I love that you're not apologetic about what you've got going on. And it permeates throughout your whole network, right? Like attracts like. Um, and and yeah, dude, when we, when we created the logo for Rising Grind, I'm like, I'm like, you know, we're going to, we're going to, the logo is a cross, bro. That's what the logo, it's a cross. There ain't no, there ain't no way around it, right? It's a cross. It, it's the best logo, man. It, it is like <laughs> off the hook, man. I got to tell you right now. Well, thank Love you. But, but here's the thing, man. Here's, here's what's interesting about this. So it is a cross. And yes, there's some places we haven't been able to get into, right? There's, there's some doors that have been closed because we, 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 we clearly are spiritual in nature. Here's the thing, though. On the opposite side of that, though we've had some doors closed in our face, I have seen non-believers rocking crosses on their chest with Rising mm. Grind gear, right? Because, it's, because they're a part of Rising Grind, and they feel yeah. like they're a part of a community, and they feel like they're loved, and they want to wear their team proudly on their chest. They're not Love wearing that. it, you know. The, and, and so what they and it's like the little tag on the on the back or on the tag when they get it right when they order the shirts. And so I don't care about the closed doors. What I care about is the doors that we are opening and the yes. opportunities that it creates. You know, going amen to that. And we'll let we'll let God do the rest. So that's kind of awesome right. to be behind that. But thanks for doing that, man. That's uh, this is this is powerful stuff. So I'm gonna keep going for just a little bit. I know you got. Yeah. Uh, I know we're over on time. I really don't care. It's, it's my show. I don't either, man. It's, it's my show, bro. I can do if I want to go over. I'm gonna go over. <laughs> <laughs> right I, i've been i've showed up here 725 times i get to go over if i want to get over right I got so my coffee i'm good man let's roll so talk to me real quick so what habits so you are absorbing you are an empath you have a passion to serve a passion to help people you're dealing with people who are unemployed who are frustrated who are bogged down who are annoyed who are pissed off who are uh, feeling rejected that are having anxieties that are having fears you're watching families crumble you're watching people go broke you're experiencing all of these things and you're an impact dude so i know that you absorb that right i know that you feel that what habits do you have in place to protect Trevor's mental health? Yeah, so that's a great question. You know, first and foremost, let me break that down. What really drives me is, like you said, I'm, I'm dealing with all of this negative energy, but helping them turn that negative energy to, into a positive energy, um, that keeps me going. That, I mean, when I get messages and people send messages into me and testimonials into me and you know, how this message helped them or how we help them land a job or whatever, whatever, right? I get just 
you know, thousands of messages all the time. And those messages come in. Those keep me going. Those lift me up. So I would encourage, number one, my audience to keep sending those. I, I really do enjoy those. I ask for them. That's what feeds me mm-hmm. is, is their testimonies about, you know, how, how I've impacted them. I, I'm a little bit selfish in that way. I need to hear that stuff. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, sure. As far as routine goes, you know, I love the show Rise and Grind because it's getting up early, right? Like I, I do get up early, maybe not as early as Glenn, but I get up at 5 a.m. every morning, right. uh, get my my coffee on, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I got to get my, my happy, 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 my coffee. And uh, I like to, uh, and I, I don't want to be hypocritical about this because I, I need to be more consistent. I will just say this. I need to be more consistent with this and I'll own it. Um but a lot of times what I do is uh, I call it coffee with Jesus, um, get out the Bible and I, I do a prayer journal. Right. And so uh, I'll write down what I'm thankful for. And it's basically like love letters uh, to Jesus. And then I'm saying, hey, you know, I'm thankful for this and, and, and the things that I'm asking for. And I write all that stuff down. And the cool thing about it is. When you go back and you look at your prayer journal, Mm -hmm. you'll see that he answers all those prayers. He may not do it in the time that you want it, right? It's not always our time. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we made it. We made it. We made it 38 minutes. I told told Trevor earlier. I was like, Trevor, dude, we're, we're... we're, we're talking about some spiritual spiritual stuff here. I, my, my guess is there'll be some type of glitch at some point. Usually it's right when we start, <laughs> right when we go to go live. But this time it's right when, uh, when he's sharing with us the habits, the habits of how he can stay spiritual and stay positive in the midst of all of those different things. What I'm going to try to do real quick, if, see if we can get him back quick. If not, we'll get out of here. Um, but hopefully I can get him back so i'm gonna disconnect this um disconnect guest okay so all right disconnected that and then i'm gonna reconnect to the previous session yeah it looks like he's he's gone my man is gone i'm sure he's trying to pop back in he's probably freaking out all right, listen, man, that's my guy, Trevor. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that share button. Super important, right? Share Trevor out. Blow him up over on LinkedIn. That's the best place to find him. Um, but ultimately, I wanted to put him up on top of a mountain before he got out of here. Darn it. Darn it. Yeah, he said stream dropped. He just messaged me because <laughs> I told him something was going to happen. Listen, man, Trevor's good, dude. There's lots of good, uh, good people out there. I stink and love hashtag rise and grind. Uh, I love you. I enjoy spending this time with you. I'm so thankful for it. Do me a favor. Uh, if you would have an amazing, like over the top weekend. And before you go, I just want to give a shout out. We got a package in the mail. We got a package in the mail the other day, just kind of came out of nowhere. And when I opened up this package, when I opened up this package, there was a bunch of t-shirts in it from Puerto Rico, right? My, our man, my man, Julio Soto, Julio Soto from Puerto Rico sent us a bunch of gear, gear for the kids, right? Gear for the kids. He also sent us a bunch of like healthy foods and, and you know, all kinds of like healthy shakes and so on and so forth. So I just want to say thank you to Julio. I truly appreciate you, bro. Uh, you're amazing. You're one of a kind. Uh, hashtag Rise and Grind. Rise and Grind is just so special. I know I saw uh, Sarah Ball got twanged by Vicky Everett and them the other day. Like it's really just, it's really just special. So thank you guys for making my life better. Uh, my life's better because you're in it. I hope you can catch that live stream tonight. Right, the live stream of the One Freedom Gala. Just message me if you'd like the link, and I can show you how to do that. Uh, make sure you message trevor today and thank him for being on the show oh trevor i see you hey what's going on man am i back you're back you made it back i was just about to sign off you made it back just in time 
Yeah, man. So the enemy does that, right? I was I was starting to preach, boy. I was getting into it. The enemy said, "Not today." I was like, "No." I was telling them that that you and I had talked about this right before that spiritual warfare. So you're sitting down, right? You're sitting down. You got your coffee. You're writing a love letter of love gratitude letters to Jesus, to Jesus, man. That's what's up. Yeah. And, and yeah, that, and uh, you you go back and you, you start to uh, you you go back and you read them and and it's crazy. It will really give you some uh, faith. It will help to build your faith because you know over time you go back and you start reading this stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, wow, he answered this one and this one and this one and this one, and he is guiding your steps and your path. And you're like, I'm right where I'm supposed to be. And you start to put all, you know, connect all these little dots and you're like, man, how cool is, is God and how he works? Um, but it's, if you don't write it down, you'll forget that you even asked for it, you yeah, know? True, and uh, so, yeah, you know, and, and like I said, um, I don't want to be a, a hypocrite. It's it, That is a practice that I need to be more consistent at. Sure. Uh, there have been times of my life where I've been extremely consistent at it. In times of my life where uh, I got out of the habit, and, and it is a habit that you have to build uh, because uh, I encourage people to do it the very first thing early in that morning. You know, wake up, get your get your little journal out, and uh, get your coffee out, and get your Bible out, and get that quiet time. Yeah. Feed your mind positivity, and um, and it's a it's a good habit. It is. It is, man. And I, I see it across the board, right? You study success. Anytime you study success, you find that all successful people have some type of reset button, some type of morning routine that helps them foundationally start their day uh, that attacks mind, body, and spirit, right? All three. You want to attack mind, body, and spirit every single day. Of course, I suggest the morning five. I think that, uh, it, it really works. It's effective. It creates disciplines in your life. Uh, it's not hard, but at the same time, it is not easy. And I know for a fact that it's life-changing because I've seen thousands of people's lives changed by using the Morning 5. So I suggest you can go there. You can download the free ebook on the Morning 5, talk more about those types of things and help you with that. All right, here's what we got to do, Trevor. You ready? All right, let's do it. Okay. The crescendo, as they call it, all right? So, I'm going to put you up on top of a mountain. A mountain. You are on top of a mountain. And all of civilization is at the base of the mountain. And they're looking mm. up at you. And they're cheering. Oh. They're going, Trevor, oh. Trevor, 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 right? And you're like, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. you're feeling it right you're feeling it you're feeling it you're feeling it and then somebody walks over because they the audience obviously wants trevor so somebody walks over and they hand you a microphone oh man and they say trevor you have two minutes to drop something on them some practical mm. some practical application wisdom that's right a mic drop a practical application wisdom that they can apply in their life today, this week, this month, this year. What are you going to tell them? Man, I'm going to say, I'm going to pull out my microphone, first of all, and I'm going to tell them that they need to go help other people, mm. right? We have this saying called hope, help one person every day. Mm. So go out there and take action Ask God to show you somebody that needs help today. Who can I help? Who can I serve? Who can I make an impact in today? Right. And pay it forward. Right. That that is going to help make a bigger impact on this planet than anything else. Go serve other people, help other people and encourage them to pay it forward. Right. And that way, uh, like David Meltzer talks about. He wants to help a billion people. And how is he going to do that? How is he going to help a billion people? Well, he's going to empower a thousand people to empower a thousand people to empower a thousand people. And that's how he's going to impact the world and the, and the globe by helping a billion people. So I would say hope, help one person every day and pay it forward. Dude, I love mic, it. Mic drop. That is a mic drop. That is the mic drop. I love it right there. Help one person every day. Powerful advice. Trevor, 
dude, you are an amazing human being, clearly uniquely made by the God of the universe, the God that made everything, made you to be the best version of yourself that you could possibly be, and you're living it out, bro. You're stepping into it every single day, and as you do, those decisions that you are making, they, they're making an impact, dude. You're making an impact on your friends, your family members, all the people in your business community. And this morning, by being here on Hashtag Rising Grind, you made an impact on me. I absolutely love you, brother. I absolutely stinking love you. Man, I appreciate you. This has been great. I love it. And uh, to the audience, you know, I appreciate you. And thanks for tuning in. And, and uh, come check me out on LinkedIn. That's it. Go follow him on LinkedIn. Blow him up today. Let him know you love him. Appreciate you, Trevor. Go out there and have an incredible day. All y'all folks, go out there. Have an incredible day. Thanks for staying with us today. We got a long episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind today, but it flew by like that, right? Didn't feel long, that's for sure. Golly, we went 50 minutes. Woo-wee! That's what I'm talking about. Straight fire. Listen, go out there. Have an amazing weekend. If you're listening on the podcast, make sure you subscribe. Drop me some comments. Let me know how you feel. If you're watching on YouTube, yoo-hoo, we love you too. We're super glad that you tuned in. Go ahead and leave us some comments so that I know you're there. I'll go back. I'll say what's up to you too. All right. Have an amazing, over-the-top, powerful weekend, folks. Monday, I will be in Fort Collins, Colorado with this lady that some of y'all know, Mrs. Danelle Delgado, and these amazing humans, my 800% Club dealers. So I will come to you live Monday morning. I think it'll be 3.30 a.m. my time when I'm out there. But I'll come see you live Monday morning when we do this all over again on Hashtag Rise and Grind. Have an incredible day. Peace.